All right, let's do this. Give me enough time and I will beat virtually anybody anytime in any competition. A pretty bold statement. How could anybody claim something so highly encompassing? He then goes on to say, why not because I'm the best or the smartest or the fastest? I'll win because of the positive habits I've developed along with the consistency I use in applying those habits. Hmm, that sounds pretty similar to everything we talk about here on this channel. In this series, we will be talking about how slow and steady wins the race and how you can become the best in anything with enough time and effort. This is The Compound Effect, a very successful self-help book written by Darren Hardy that has sold over a million copies. And chances are, while you're watching this right now, you've either already read it, know someone who's read it, or have at least heard of it. Well, I read it and it resonated with me so much because I felt like it really captured exactly why something like the 50 day challenge or the practice of setting healthy habits can be so impactful on your life. So over the next few weeks, I will be going chapter by chapter, implementing all the incredibly helpful action steps that are outlined at the end of each chapter. And one of those first action steps is going to be identifying any excuses that you may be holding onto that are holding you back from reaching that personal development that you wanna reach, which, which is the perfect opportunity for me to introduce this week's sponsor. We all know the importance of taking care of our health and a lot of us talk about wanting to get in shape and we all know how difficult it is to find that time and motivation to exercise. But what if I told you there was a way to make all of that way easier? This is where Future Fitness comes in. With their innovative approach to fitness and personal training, you'll be able to get in shape whenever and wherever you want, which means, that's right, no more excuses. Future Fitness will help pair you with one of their extremely qualified and experienced coaches who will then help develop a personalized workout plan based on your goals, abilities, and lifestyle. And then they will be there with you every step of the way to provide guidance, support, and motivation. With Future Fitness, you can exercise whenever and wherever you want, which means you can exercise in the morning, at night, or even midnight if that's what you choose. And the best part is Future Fitness empowers you to reach those fitness goals by leveraging the features of the Apple Watch and iPhone. They provide an in-depth analysis of biometrics as well as a live chat so that you can reach those goals you've been working towards faster. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now using the link I have below and get your first month for only $19. Get yourself a personal trainer who will help keep you accountable to stay consistent and disciplined. Now, one of the first things he really hammers home in this book is no excuses. And he takes it to the extreme saying no excuses unless you're showing bone, which he means literally. And obviously I'm, I think that's a bit extreme and I'm not going to be taking it to that degree. But I do think there's something to be learned from that level of discipline and dedication. It's a great reminder to never limit yourself. Just because someone else may be more skilled or talented than you in something does not mean that you can't work hard and reach that same level of skill and talent. In fact, I'm sure we've all met people in our lives who are naturally talented at something and then end up taking it for granted, not nurturing that talent and working on it and end up falling behind. I've stumbled across this topic a lot on TikTok when talking about gifted child syndrome, where basically you grew up your entire life being told that you were gifted or naturally talented. And then once you go out into the adult world, you find that that gifted title fails you and you may not actually be as naturally gifted or as talented as you were made to believe. Don't fall into the gifted child syndrome. Also, don't be discouraged by those around you who may be more talented than you. Don't let fear hold you back from putting in that level of hard work and dedication until you do ultimately become as talented as those other people that you were originally intimidated by. At the very least, you will be better than past you, which is the ultimate goal in life, right? So don't give yourself excuses. Consistent hard work will prevail, and this book lays out exactly how. It's no great achievement to go along with the crowd. Be the unusual guy. Be the exception. The compound effect is the simple act of doing small, healthy habits every single day and having the discipline to consistently follow those healthy habits every single day, even when there isn't any immediate benefit or growth to be seen. 
because that growth and benefit will be coming over the long run. It compounds. Because if you look at a graph tracking compound growth, it starts off very, very small with very little change, slowly builds, and then all of a sudden, whoop, shoots right up the graph. Now, imagine this, we're tracking the benefits of following your healthy habits. That is what the compound effect is all about. That's what compounding is. And you've heard of this, whether you know it or not, call it reaching critical mass, the ripple effect, or even compound interest in a bank account. It's the same thing. It's also how people become seemingly overnight successes. They didn't just all of a sudden become famous. They've put in hard work over a long period of time. And now you're just starting to see that hard work pay off. He then goes on to talk about how implementing healthy habits will have massively beneficial positive effects in other areas of your life, which, hmm, funny, I seem to remember saying that quite frequently in my 50 day challenge. A positive habit will positively affect other areas of your life, while negative habits will do the same thing and end up having unintended negative consequences. So now you're probably sitting there thinking, wow, this all sounds amazing, but where do I begin? Well, let's start together. This is going to take a lot of discipline and dedication, which is going to take a lot of motivation. So let's start there. So the first action step laid out in this chapter is actually to sign up for the Darren Daily Podcast for daily morning motivation. Now, I'll be honest, this podcast really wasn't my cup of tea. I really wasn't vibing with it too much and that's totally fine. Find what works for you. Maybe you try it out and it's great for you, but find whatever is going to work for you. Instead, what I've been doing is been listening to one of my favorite podcasts or one of these motivational podcasts that I'm trying out and I'll listen to one first thing in the morning while I'm making coffee and getting ready. But if you have a motivational podcast that you would recommend, please put them in the comments because I would love to hear your recommendations. But the important thing is, is to find something that will provide you a source of motivation first thing in the morning. The next action step is to write down a few excuses you might be clinging to and make up your mind to put in that effort and hard work that's needed to outcompete yourself. One of my common excuses is that I'm too busy, which isn't true. If it's important enough, you will find time for it. Now write out six small steps you can be taking to help direct your life into that positive direction that you want to take it. These ultimately will be what take you in that direction of whoop, compound growth. It could be as simple as reading 10 pages of a self-improvement book every single day, or start bringing your lunch to work rather than eating out every day. Now write down six actions you want to stop doing that if compounded could bring your progress down. Because remember, the compound effect is happening to all habits, including the bad ones. So which habits do you want to stop so that they don't compound and potentially get worse. Now reflect on things that you have been successful or talented in in the past. Are you taking them for granted? Have you continued to work on them or have you let yourself grow stagnant? Honestly, this was one of the most helpful tips for me because it really helped me check in on myself and evaluate whether I really am continuing to work on these things that I do kind of take for granted that I consider myself good at, but everything needs continuous work to get better. And you can always get better. Now this does not have to be big brained or overly complicated. Say for example, your excuse is I'm just not an athletic person. Fair, I'm sure a lot of us feel that way. One small step you could start doing is just find ways to start getting active every single day in a small way. Maybe signing up for a future fitness, for example. <laughs> And one habit you could stop doing is stop taking the elevator when you could just take the stairs for a flight or two every day. Again, not big changes, but when compounded over time will result in huge growth and will even change the way you perceive opportunities around you in life. Now, there is so much incredible value and great examples in this book that I can't nearly try to relay all of its value to you through this series. So I highly encourage you to buy it or get it from your local library, read it yourself. I do have it linked below. This series is not sponsored by this book or the author or anyone. I just really believe in the value that this book has to offer. And I wanna take you guys with me through the journey of 
reframing my mind. It also directly relates to everything I'm always talking about on this channel. Now, I will have the second installment of this series out on my channel later this week to really kick off this new series to a great start. So if you're watching this while it's going live, just wait a few days and the next one will be there. But if you're watching this after it's already been live, guess what? Next installment is already out and you can binge that to your heart's content. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to reframe our mindset together through this book. And so if you wanna join me, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button, leave a like rating, and comment down below what you are most excited about changing in your life through the compound effect. I will see you next time. Keep smiling.